I'm moving ahead with the uh, classical guitars rosette and uh, I changed what I originally planned to do. Uh, I had originally planned to make the wood to where it, it appeared that it was growing right out of the center of the sound hole in all directions. Um, that came out looking really good, but then my wife had a better idea. And so now what I've done is I've taken a whole bunch of scraps of wood and I made small pieces out of them. Uh, they were just little tiny pieces, pieces that most people would throw away. But since they were exotic woods and, and uh, all, I wanted to keep them. And so I kept them all this time. And what you see here is some walnut. I remember I built my second uh, guitar and about three ukuleles out of walnut. Well, this is that same uh, board of wood that I built those ukuleles out of. Here's the Paduke, like we're working with now for this guitar. And then there's the African blackwood that was left over from uh, a previous classical guitar build, build that I did. And so I'm putting it all together and we put a piece of, uh, of label uh, upside down on top of my board and then we piece together a whole bunch of these little pieces real tight. Now they're tight, but they're not real tight. And so what I'm about to do now is to go back and sand them and make them to where they fit together real tight. Now that I'm satisfied that everything's tight, I'll go back and I'll glue the pieces together on their sides so that each piece is glued together at the joint that touches the piece next to it. Not necessarily to, these, to the board I'm working on, the work board. I want it to be able to peel off of that whenever I'm done. So I, one piece at a time, take them off and glue them up. This takes a little while to do, and once that's done, then we move on to the next step, uh, and we have to let this uh, harden. This soundboard is made of western red cedar. And what I've done is I've taken the book match pieces and I've laid them on the table and I'm planing the edge so that it gets good and straight. Once I've satis I'm satisfied that the joint will uh, pretty much disappear when it's glued, then I glue the joint and I put it in this jig to hold it in place while it is drying. Uh, I also use clamps uh, on the ends and then I use a gravity clamp, which is a, just a tub of nails that uh, puts enough weight on the center to keep it flush, I mean, flat down onto the uh, board. Here I am uh, setting the rosette jig on the rosette pieces that I had already glued together, and now I'm ready to route them out into a circle. I'm setting the outside radius to four and five eighths, and I'm setting the inside radius to three and five eighths. Uh, I will uh, cut through this and then remove the pieces that are on the inside and the outside after it's all cut. Then the next step is I go to the soundboard itself after it is hardened and we uh, cut the circles, the relief for it so we're cutting a, a width the same as what we had already done and uh, to give ourselves that space for that rosette to go into to recess down into the soundboard and this is a matter of getting the outside line and then uh, uh, by increments making it smaller each with each cut and uh, once this is completed then everything should be able to fit down it. Now I did make it just a little bit wider because I wanted to use some purfling around the outside edge of the rosette whenever I put it in just to give it a little bit of decoration. So uh, in all this uh, the width is about an eighth of an inch wider in all directions. So that helps me for whenever I lay that uh, uh, purfling around the rosette. This is an easy task. It's just, just a matter of setting it up and then uh, running your Dremel. And uh, the, once the Dremel is set, then it's going to cut that depth all the way across. So it's not a problem, not hard to do at all. 
but this is a handy tool if you ever get to, to looking at tools that are good for this kind of work this is one of them well once it's all done then we'll take it and we'll set the rosette in it and then we'll add the purfling around it and once we're done it looks very similar to this <laughs>